Shalom. All right, we're on. All right, we're going to be getting into it pretty quick here. been getting a heavy shadow ban on this channel but doesn't matter okay i've been getting a heavy shadow ban on the live stream should i say and they've been all distorting views like they always been doing but again i'll say it doesn't matter all right so this is a uh, uh, first off shabbat shalom the new moon which is the sabbath it establishes the new moon for the rest of the month so the, for the rest of or for the new month, should I say, the Sabbath will be Sunday, I'm sorry, Thursday sundown to Friday sundown, right? Anyway, all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor <clears throat> to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopefully elect, you brothers and sisters out there. All right, and this lesson is going to be entitled, uh, what did I call it? Black culture is destroying you, repent. With the subtitle in parentheses, BTB Savage. BTB Savage. Let me show them to you. <clears throat> this is him right here. Was him, is him, a young guy that uh was a rapper. And it's a crazy situation, man. All the things that are wrong with black culture, if you haven't heard about this, you know, prepare yourselves. This is a really terrible story. All right. Anyway, here's a video from DJ Vlad or from Vlad TV, should I say. The title of it is BTB Savage on him and his girlfriend killing a man who tried to rob him. Full interview. Now, I'm not going to be able to play this on this uh, thing because those of you that watch Vlad TV, you know that anytime we try to do lessons and include his footage, they'll copyright block your shit right, like right away. All right. So I'll give you the link to it. You can check it out after this. He goes into detail everything that happened. Hold on here. Block it. Let me go back. Just hold on. All right. So yeah, like I said, I'm not going to play it. I want to give you the exact link. Then I'm going to take this down. We, gonna, we are going to see some other videos, though, dealing with this whole thing. All right, and the way the story goes is like this. The dude, uh, BTB Savage, right? He was a up-and-coming rapper, inspiring rap artist, right? He's making a lot of money <clears throat> some kind of way, I guess, with his songs. And uh, I guess there was a rapper that was, you know, trying to do a feature, wanted him to do a feature on his, on his song. But your feature is when, you know, you have a popular rapper like a Drake or somebody that's hot. Then you have another person that's new that nobody really knows and they want you to do a guest appearance on their album or on a song that they're doing. So this is the, that type of situation. So this guy, BTB Savage, you know, a guy wanted him to do a song with him, but he didn't know the individual. So the dude shows up to do a song. He's going to pay him the money. You know, and uh, he brought a, a few other guys with him. Anyway, it was all settled to be a robbery, like a home invasion type situation. And you're going to hear all of this. And when you watch that video, he goes into it in detail, everything that happened. I mean, he got with it really in the detail. Anyway, what wound up happening was uh, the BTB Savage dude wound up shooting this other guy, or the guy wound up getting killed trying to rob him. The other guys get away, right? You think it would end right there. No, it didn't end right there. BTB Savage, he got shot in the arm. He was all messed up. And once he got out of the hospital, he went back to that apartment where that whole thing took place and took photos of himself for social media in this other individual's blood. It was blood all on the floor, whatever. He took, you know, gory photos of himself posing in the blood, doing all this, you know. And then he was uh, mocking the guy that died. 
and the dude's family or friends, homies, whatever, they got together and they wind up, somebody wind up killing this guy, BTB Savage, a few, a week or so later after all that shit went down, which is terrible, all after he did the interview. You see? So this is all the things wrong with black culture. So the people that killed him were mad because their relative or their homie that tried to rob him died in the process of robbing somebody else. How can you be mad when you go and try to do evil to somebody and you wind up dying and then you say you want to get revenge on the, on the you know, for the person that was wicked that went to commit a crime? I mean, it's, it's terrible. Anyway, let's get a quick scripture here. You know, the whole point of it all is that we are the Israelites. Before I even go to the scripture, we are the Hebrew Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And really what you're seeing is the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, is causing judgment to go out in different ways on our people. You young so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, if you don't repent, the Lord is going to have you die in various ways. Now that the gospel is being preached, nobody has an excuse. Matter of fact, that's a great scripture to start with. So we're here to bring forth the repentance, as always. Them guys you see on the highways that you don't like out there, in the, you know, preaching the gospel in every major city in the United States that you, you think they're cramping your fun. No, they were sent on your behalf as messengers from the Heavenly Father to tell you to repent so that you don't have to partake in the judgment. But you're not going to listen. So, like I said in another video, us coming on the scene and preaching the gospel made everybody guilty. You know why? Because you can no longer plead ignorance. This is John 15, 22. It says, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. You have no more excuses. You have no more occasion to say you didn't know. I didn't know God was trying to get in touch with me. You're trying to reach me. You can't say that. And all these rappers know about it. These different, um, you know, comedians, ball players, entertainers. You can't say you don't, you don't know about the Israelites. And just knowing about us is making you all, or knowing about this truth is making you guilty because either you're going to be repenting or you're going to be going against the Lord once you know about it. This is uh, Luke 13 also. And then we get to some footage, you know, pretty quick here. Luke 13 and verse 1, it says, There were present at that season some that told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Yahweh Shai, who was, the, who was the son of the Almighty, and Yahweh Shai answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things? I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. And if you can't see when these rappers die, these different, you know, entertainers and people die, if you can't see yourself in that, you should always put yourself in there. You say, what if that was me? So you keep getting opportunities when these other people perish and you hear these terrible stories, you get opportunities to repent, to clean it up, to get yourself, try to get yourself prepared because it's coming, the day of the Lord is coming. The Savior is going to come before you know it. America is going to be destroyed with nuclear missiles via World War III. We say all these things every day. In this black culture, you got to get your mind out of the ways of it. You're being poisoned. You're being poisoned by it. All that shit about the ops and you know, you can't disrespect me and this and that. All that shit is leading you to death. That's what's going on. But the Lord is allowing it. <clears throat> Verse 4 says, Are those 18 upon whom the tower in Siloam fell and slew them, think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you, nay. But except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. So at the end of the day, BTB Savage wasn't no more wicked than, you know, this individual that person, whoever, right? Bigot, Tupac, whatever. But the end of it all is that they're enemies of the Heavenly Father. If you don't turn back to the gospel, if you don't turn back to the Lord, you are an enemy of the Heavenly Father. To go after this world is going against the Almighty. Let's get real quick here. First John 2, verse 15. And we all know these scriptures, but you know what? You can never hear them enough. If the people out there in the hip-hop world and that culture, if they ain't going to listen, that's all right. Those that will listen will listen. First John 2.15, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. And that's what you see a lot when it comes to this stuff, because all this was behind covetousness. I just did a lesson on it earlier. If you got a price, the devil is going to present that price to you and you're going to be taken. You see, you're going to be taken in mischief. 
And that's what happened. These dudes were desperate to rob this guy because what is he? What is his main thing doing? Flashing money. That's what these guys do. They flash money. They show money, you know, stacks of money all on their arm, diamonds in their teeth and their watches and all that, the chains. You see, people see this stuff and then they say, you know, I want that. Right? They covet it. Then they come up with a plan to, you know, get it from you. This is what happened with this guy. You're going to see it. You're going to see this story being repeated. It's terrible. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. You better get it out of your mind. All this stuff these rappers show you, they show you on TV. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. This stuff is of the world. And what? And the world passeth away and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. So this is what you want to be. You want to do the will of the Heavenly Father. And then we're going to get all the flashy stuff. We're going to be able to flash and floss, if, would, if that's a word, in the kingdom, though. James 4 and 4, ye adulterers and adulteresses. Why does it say adulterers and, and adulteresses? Because those in this position that are friends of the world, you worshiping another God. That's what you're doing. You're cheating on the Heavenly Father. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High. And you may say, well, you know, why is that a negative? Because you're, gonna, you're not going to have any protection. The Lord's not going to protect friends of the world. This is GMS North Carolina, 777, Elder Hawaii, Romans 10, 18. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth and their words to the ends of the world. You can't say you don't know about us. We're everywhere. That's why the Lord have us do these lessons that come into this other, these other corners of entertainment and in the other parts of, of culture, right? So that you there can hear about it. Sukiyana, right? You know, you, you know, I never heard of her before, I guess before a month or two ago. But the Lord have us do lessons dealing with stuff like have them say things and us find out about it so that we can do lessons so that all the Sukiana fans might click on the video and find out what this is all, all about. Same thing with Boosie. Same thing with some of these other people, right? Um, this guy, Kanye West, uh, oh, Kyrie Irving. You see, the Lord is, is, is having his word being known about and heard about in all these different genres. You ain't going to be able to say you don't know. Ezekiel 2 and 5, and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, which means ignore it, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there has been a prophet among them. You, can't, you ain't going to be able to plead ignorance on this. The Lord is going to thoroughly saturate the earth with the gospel. This already happened. And in the end of it all, all of us have to remember that this right here is always going to be there. Zechariah 13, verse 8. Only the elect, the chosen, is going to make it out of Babylon the great. We're not here to wake up the nation, to help the nation. to do. We ain't here to do none of that shit. We're here to preach the gospel so that the elect, the chosen, can hear it. And the Lord can set them aside and save them at the coming of his son. And it shall come to pass, Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, that land is Babylon the great, which is America. Said the Lord, Yahweh. In the name of Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, his son, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. See, that third is the remnant or the elect. Those are the only ones the Lord is, is going to save. The only one he got us here preaching for. But right now, you all, we all get to hear it. So take heed to the warnings as they come forth. Yep, I heard about it. Yeah, the brother from Charlotte. Shalom, we had Deontay Wilder walk past camp this past weekend. He was warned. That's right. I heard about it. As soon as it happened, the brother was, you know, hitting us on the app, letting us know that, that nigga Deontay Wilder just walked by. So <clears throat> it is what it is. But see, that happens a lot. You had Triple X Tentacion before he died. He walked past the, what was it, the Hawaii brothers. Didn't want to conversate, right? A little while later, he was dead. See, you have many entertainers come by the camp but that's okay you do oh yeah hey when you ignore the prophets let me read it you doing harm to your own self that's what's happening to you this is jeremiah 25 and verse 4 
it says, and the Lord has sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them. But you have not hearkened nor inclined your ear to hear. You didn't want to hear it. They said, turn ye again now, everyone from his evil way and from the evil of your doings. It's about your doings. You doing a lot of evil against the Lord. You have to be told about it and warned. He's giving you opportunity to repent and from the evil of your doings, and dwell in the land that the Lord has given unto you and to your fathers forever and ever. Where is that land? It's Jerusalem, the holy land. But we have to wait. Our Savior is going to come and take us back to our land, but it's not the time yet. But if you do what, what the Lord says do, when his son comes, you'll be able to go back to our land with us. Lord, will we make it? <clears throat> what else? And go not after other gods to serve them, and to worship them and provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands and i will do you no hurt so the lord is that's a condition you got to drop the idolatry you got to repent and be converted yet ye have not hearkened unto me said the lord that ye might provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own hurt it's on you it's to your own hurt and that's the neat thing about preaching the gospel those that don't repent you only hurting yourself. You ain't hurting us. What you do is not affecting us. If you disregard the message, doesn't affect the believers. What unbelievers do doesn't affect the believers. This is Ozana Moth, Acts 319. Repent ye therefore and be converted. You can't say I repented, but you still a Muslim. You repented, but you still a Christian. You repented, but you still a Baptist. No, you got to repent and be converted. Why? That your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna convert. You really ain't repentant. Jim as Holy Spirit Tazabak the Tazamak, Salakia the Bar, Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. That's right. You gotta seek the Lord while he may be found. So I ain't gonna talk of the death. Let's go to this first video. Um First, let's just get this news report right here. We'll play this. This is only three minutes and 30 seconds long. It says, only on 13, mother of rapper BTB Savage speaks after he's murdered near River Oaks. And this happened in Houston, Texas. So stay tuned. I'm going to play this. Let me set it up here, get it right. And we'll come right back. Well, only on 13, we're hearing from the mother of an aspiring rapper who was gunned down in the exclusive River Oaks area last week. Hold on, brothers. Turn the volume up. Get it all right here. All right. And get me off the screen. There we go. Salakia. So well, only on 13, we're hearing from the mother of an aspiring rapper who was gunned down in the exclusive River Oaks area last week. The 26-year-old went by the name BTB Savage, and just days before he was killed, he did an interview claiming he was involved in killing someone else who tried to rob him. Now his mother thinks that may have led to her son's death. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor is joining us live from downtown with the story. Brooke? Mel, that a uh, rapper who's known as BTB Savage was posting on his social media. He was doing interviews about that deadly robbery just a few months ago. His mother tells me while well, he was just defending himself and didn't deserve to die, she says she tried to beg her son stop posting and stop doing interviews talking about this. Gunned down near River Oaks behind the wheel of a car riddled with bullets. The mom of a 26-year-old rapper known as BTB Savage tells ABC 13 that was her son. Bernita Ward says her son's online persona isn't how she knew him. I'm not one of those parents who try to cover up, you know, whatever their children's lifestyle is. To her, he was just Darrell Gentry, his legal name. He served in the military for four years and was a father to a four-year-old son. That's who she says she's most proud of. In February, Ward says her son thought he was going to be featured in a song, his rapping career starting to kick off. Instead, she says a group showed up to his apartment in San Antonio and tried to rob him. 
Earlier this week, the rapper did an interview with Vlad TV describing how he fought off the would-be robber, instructed his girlfriend to shoot him, and then left him to die. When the interviewer asked if he was concerned about retaliation, he said, quote, they might do what they do, but I'm going to get active. That's all that is. On Thursday, he posted on social media standing in the middle of a bloody crime scene. on social media standing in the middle of a bloody crime scene. Hours later, Houston police say he was shot in a drive-by shooting. Hold on, y'all. Video got stuck. Thank you, tripping. Let's do this. <clears throat> Damn it, come on, man. Gotta have some problems, right? Just give me a second here. Commercials and shit. Look at this guy. From Shark Tank. So, how do you make onboarding and training not suck? Use Trainual, the easiest way to train and grow. Only on 13, we're hearing from the mother of an aspiring rapper who was gunned down in the exclusive River Oaks area last week. The 26-year-old went by the name BTB Savage, and just days before he was killed, he did an interview claiming he was involved in killing someone else who tried to rob him. Now his mother thinks that may have led to her son's death. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor is joining us live from downtown with the story. Brooke? Mel, that a uh, rapper who's known as BTB Savage was posting on his social media. He was doing interviews about that deadly robbery just a few months ago. His mother tells me while well, he was just defending himself and didn't deserve to die, she says she tried to beg her son stop posting and stop doing interviews talking about this. Gunned down near River Oaks behind the wheel of a car riddled with bullets. The mom of a 26-year-old rapper known as BTB Savage tells ABC 13 that was her son. Renita Ward says her son's online persona isn't how she knew him. I'm not one of those parents who try to cover up, you know, whatever their children's lifestyle is. To her, he was just Darrell Gentry, his legal name. He served in the military for four years and was a father to a four-year-old son. That's who she says she's most proud of. In February, Ward says her son thought he was going to be featured in a song, his rapping career starting to kick off. Instead, she says a group showed up to his apartment in San Antonio and tried to rob him. Earlier this week, the rapper did an interview with Vlad TV describing how he fought off the would-be robber, instructed his girlfriend to shoot him, and then left him to die. When the interviewer asked if he was concerned about retaliation, he said, quote, they might do what they do, but I'm going to get active. That's all that is. On Thursday, he posted on social media standing in the middle of a bloody crime scene. Hours later, Houston police say he was shot in a drive-by shooting. I said, take that off of social media. I said, let this family mourn in peace. Um, but they were continuing, was taunting my son, you know, telling him he was going to telling him that they were going to kill the family that they were gonna make his mama cry, like that, like my son made his mother cry. And I told my son, don't respond. But their family member came to rob my son. And now she's forced to mourn the loss of her son, who she tried desperately to keep out of danger. So the moral of this story to me is that two mothers lost two amazing sons and that their children would be raised without fathers. And that's a sad thing. And it was also important for her to spread the message to stop gun violence on the streets, especially to the youth, she tells me. I also did reach out to San Antonio police to get more information about that alleged robbery incident back in February. We are still waiting to hear back, but of course, we'll keep you updated as soon as we find that out. For now, though, we are reporting live outside of Houston police. I'm Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. 
Yeah, so you heard it right there. Now that's that's terrible. But we're gonna actually get another video giving you the story, right? Um while we was on the break. <laughs> this dude, man, I don't know what the hell is this dude problem. You keep making up these these crazy accounts, you know. You know, now he now he's you know, you see it right there. Now you need a bottle. I say you need a straight jacket. <laughs> and the other brother this is really this really what 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 needs to be done but you know anyway uh yeah this other person man you're a demon too now you got a guy on here claiming he the most high look at this shit see that jake ain't gonna never quit till you wind up you know till the lord put in work on you but it's all good it's all good this is uh jms north carolina matthew 26 52 then said you how shine to him Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. And that was a really, a really not so bright thing the young man did. I mean, here it is. Instead of you praising the Lord that you've made it out of that home invasion alive, you go and take photos in the in the crime scene and the blood stains of the people that or the dude that you wind up, you know, uh, that wind up passing away as a result of them trying to rob you. Right and taunting them on social media, and that, and as the elder brother said, Vlad should be arrested. A lot of people got a problem with Vlad over that because he did the interview, and the dude told a whole story on the interview. I mean, yeah, it's terrible, man. It's terrible shit. But it, but go, but just look past all that. Black culture is what it is. All that shit about them ops, you know, want to get your lick back, not want to be punk. They ain't gonna be embarrassed. You ain't gonna, you know, just not willing to take a loss. I mean, it, it's crazy. This this culture is 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 terrible. This black culture shit is gonna be. There's gonna be more. Faith restored. Proverbs sixteen eighteen. Pride go up before destruction. All this shit is behind pride. Just like you see these niggas that can't let it go. Keep making up these stupid ass profiles and coming on our comment board doing shit. And it ain't just mine. They doing it all over the place. They doing it on the apostles, different brothers live streams. They they doing it everywhere, man. But that's all right, though. That pride, you, you get that pride and then the destruction comes. Pride goes before destruction and in the hardest spirit before fall. That's all it is. It's pride got a lot to do with it. Jake has learned this shit from, the, from being over here in Babylon the Great. The rappers taught you that shit, too. And they and they guilty. They got a lot of a lot of blood on their hands for pushing that out there. They, they've been used as pawns by Amalek them. Azan Amoth, Ecclesiastes 32, 14. Whoso feareth the Lord will receive his discipline. You got to have discipline. And they that seek him early shall find favor. And even if you didn't seek him early, you got to seek now. And then you, you can still say it's early, but before the Lord start bringing forth just, uh, judgment. Israelite acquiring knowledge, Psalms 52 and 1. Why do you boast, great one, of your evil? Woo, fire. You got Jake boasting of evil things, right? The most high spared your life to get through the dog on home invasion and, and they was outnumbered it was just him his 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 lady and their i guess a four-year-old son and they barely made it out of that shit alive right through the grace of you know the most high that they made it out of alive and what does he do instead of thanking the lord he goes and makes videos and pictures in the bloody crime scene and talk shit you know done doing interviews about it why do you boast why do you boast great one of your evil the Most High's faithfulness is eternal. You make plans to ruin others. Your tongue is like a sharp razor. You are always inventing lies. Tell us what version that is, brother. You didn't put it in there. I know it's not King James. Jim S. Holy Spirit, Tazamak, the bar, Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Okay? There you go. All right? Yeah. Death and life in the power of the tongue, you know? You put it out there when it comes back to near you can't you hey you can't get upset right you do dirt you get dirt gms hagnos and astrophe matthew 12 36 and i tell you this you must give an account on judgment day for every idle word you speak Ooh -woo. there it is this is gms tyler doc lafayette ecclesiastes 10 13 for pride is the beginning of sin and he that hath it shall pour out abomination, that pride, that proud look. And therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Right. Yep. 
Yeah, the brother said this dude came on there with three different channels. You know, and I'm and I'm I'm starting to believe it's probably it's some some type of program they're using to clone these different shits or whatever. But they're saying you know saying personal shit. This nigga came on my live stream this morning on the uh morning premiere. He posted the same comment seventeen times on two different profiles. <laughs> <laughs> what do they think they're doing about it? All you're doing is just irritating us. You're not stopping us. You're not stopping us from doing anything. Look at this guy. You ain't going to make it out alive, Ark. <laughs> Look, King David. What, what's the obsession with King David, man? This dude is really obsessed. You ain't going to make it out alive. The most I going to do something to you, man. But it's all good. When and Believe this. If something happened to you, we're going to do lessons on you because Neil Lapaya, Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Now, the individual that I think that it is, you already gave up any uh any opportunity you had to be taken serious by brothers. You went on the Vocab Malone show and said that the white man is not the devil. <laughs> now you mad at us? What are you mad at us for? You went on Vocab Malone show, you lost all credibility if you ever had any, man. We ain't worried about it. Whatever. When a Jake going vocab Malone, you just basically throw your hands up in the air and say, fuck it, I give up. I'm not part of the truth. And you're not. So whatever. Do what you do. Keep making up these profiles. It don't matter to us. You through. You are through, cuz. Talking about Satan is a... I don't remember what the nigga said. Anyway, let's get back to the story, brothers. Now, this right here is about seven minutes long. It gives you the full rundown. It says the story of BTB Savage. And this shit is tragic. It give you the full, you know, the full everything on it. Let's see if we can get into this. Here we go. A rapper from San Antonio, Texas, named BTB Savage, killed someone and dissed him on social media. Then, just hours after the post, he was shot and killed in revenge. He made headlines last week for telling DJ Vlad how the shooting went down. And now, he's in the spotlight after tragically losing his own life. So today, we're breaking down exactly what happened in this wild story. Let's right into it. On March 30th, headlines in Houston broke that a man had been shot to death in his vehicle around 6 p.m. Before anyone knew that BTB Savage was the victim, the cops had already figured out that it was a targeted shooting because of how many bullet shells they found at the scene. According to reports, Savage was in his white Mercedes in a good part of town called River Oaks, and the whip was filled with bullet holes. Two shooters pulled up and boxed him in. Then they started letting off shots. It's not clear how many times Savage was hit or if he even shot. But by the time help arrived at the scene, it was already too late. Savage getting gunned down in the middle of a nice neighborhood like that was shocking. But then the story got even crazier. Come to find out, a few hours before he was murdered, BTB Savage posted a couple of selfies on Twitter standing in a pool of dry blood. And just a warning, the images are pretty graphic. Savage was trolling a dude who was killed in his apartment a couple of months ago. And last week, he went on Vlad TV to air out how everything happened. According to Savage, a local rapper had been trying to get a feature from him for a while. They ain't really know each other, but they'd run into each other at shows and around town sometimes. One night, a couple months ago, the dude got in touch with Savage and he finally agreed to do a feature. And later that night, the other rapper pulled up to his apartment with a car full of dudes. The rapper came into Savage's apartment with a 34-year-old named Omar Richardson. Savage said he felt kind of weird because both of them was looking around the spot when they walked in. But then Richardson flashed some bread and Savage thought it was all good. The dudes came in with a box full of studio equipment so they could set up and record. But then the other rapper said he was missing a few things and Omar told him to go back to the whip and grab what he needed. Savage thought something was off, so he locked the door when the rapper went outside and that thing went left. Omar started asking Savage and who from. And when Savage down to show his chain, Omar up to strap and told Savage to hand everything over. At first, Savage told him he wasn't giving it up. But after Omar said he'd shoot him and his girl too, Savage started taking the chains off. When Omar first pulled out the gun, Savage was too far away to make a move. But when Omar reached to grab Savage's chain, he saw an opportunity and moved quick. Savage wrapped Omar up in his arms and fell to the ground and they started wrestling. Omar's gun fell out of his hand and Savage had his arms wrapped up. And that's when Savage yelled for his girl to come shoot him. She came in and popped him in the back twice, but that ain't slowing him down. Omar managed to get his hand on one of his guns and let three shots off at Savage's girl. 
but luckily every shot missed and Savage got him back under control. He told Omar his son was in there and he just needed to leave. But instead of ducking out and getting himself to the hospital, Omar told Savage he was gonna kill him and kept fighting. Omar yelled at his homies to shoot through the door and they let off two shots and missed everyone. Savage told his girl to shoot back, but then 20 more shots flew into the apartment from the front door. When they stopped shooting, Savage's girl popped back at him with two shots and that's when Omar's homies left him to die. Savage and Omar kept fighting while Savage's girl tried to get a clean shot on him. She fired again, but the bullet hit Savage right in his elbow and shattered it. His bone was poking through the skin and he couldn't even hold his arm up, but he got his body out of the way and his girl shot Omar one more time in the torso. Savage tried to get him to leave again, but Omar said he wasn't going without getting something. He was crawling on the floor with a gun in his hand right next to Savage's son's room, and that's when Savage jumped on him. He put his finger over Omar's and let off all the rounds left in the magazine. When Omar realized he was out of ammo, he started telling Savage he had kids too and asked him not to let him die. But Savage had no sympathy for him and said, I hope you die, Savage and his girl went in to grab his son. Then Savage went back out to make sure everything was clear before they left. Omar crossed to the front door and grabbed Savage's foot when he walked by and begged him to take him to the hospital. Savage told him, Yo, I'm about to fry right here. And if they come save you, then they come save you. If not, then yo, I toast you. After that, Savage called his homie and was rushed to the hospital. He passed out in the car, and when he woke up in the hospital bed, the cops were waiting there to talk with him. After Savage and his girl explained the situation, the cops classified it as self-defense, and neither of them were charged. Omar died at the scene, and Savage told the cops he was happy about it. In his interview with Vlad, he admitted, That shit gave me bad PTSD for sure. Like. But Omar put his son's life in danger, so Savage had no choice. It was a crazy situation, and the Vlad TV interview immediately blew up, hitting almost 2 million views in less than a week. And Savage's ops obviously wasn't happy about it. Vlad asked Savage, I mean, are you at all concerned that his people are going to try to come back? Yeah, they for sure might do, they might do what they do, but I'm going to get active. That's all it is. Unfortunately, it ain't take long for the get back, and some people are blaming the interview for his tragic death. Benzino's been on Vlad TV before, but after the news broke about Savage's death, he tweeted, I ain't never going on that shit again. The culture is already killing each other at such a high rate that we don't need instigators by an outsider. Plus, Savage's ops clowned him over the interview after he died, which led to more people blaming Vlad. Even though the interview put the situation in the spotlight, at the end of the day, Savage already had real beef in the streets with whoever killed him. And that beef still would have existed even if he never told Vlad about Omar's death. Savage had already moved out of the apartment where Omar died, but he went back just to take a picture in his blood and flex on his ops. Him and his girl had every right to defend themselves that night Omar tried to rob him. But dissing people's dead homies on the internet like that will always put a bigger target on your back. It's just an all-around tragedy. And the rap game has lost another talented artist too soon. BTB Savage never hit the mainstream, but he was working hard the last few years and definitely could have made a name for himself in the industry, especially with the extra exposure from his Vlad TV interview. Savage ain't come up like most rappers. He actually joined the army and was stationed in South Korea. And that's where he went to a trade school and learned how to code. According to reports, he got caught up in a massive fraud scheme that was allegedly over a million dollars. And that's when he got kicked out of Korea and decided to hop in the booth. He tragically left behind a four-year-old son who will have to grow up without his dad around. And Savage said that his son was the only thing that kept him going. BTB Savage was hustling hard to make it in the industry and provide for his family. But the streets caught up to him before he could hit the mainstream. Rest in peace to BTB Savage. Terrible. <clears throat> terrible, terrible. All the way around. Now, y'all heard the story, right? As the elder brother said, a hot black mess with cheese. This is terrible, man. A, a hot black mess. Black culture is getting you all messed up, Jake. The only way out is repentance. This is Dark Matter, Yahweh, Amoth, Jeremiah 422. For my people is foolish. <clears throat> they have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Right? Jay can tell you how to get the baking soda, do all this, do all that, you know, what temperature to turn the, the, the pot on, get the water. No, 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 no. That's right, brother. We all are. 
I'm sick of and tired of black culture. We all are. And see this person right here? This is a person that's possessed with black culture. See that? Stop acting. And we we the ones acting like a bitch, but you making up profiles of grown a grown man is making up profiles of other grown men and pretending to be them so you can come and make scoffing comments. <laughs> Jim has feed the flock. Jeremiah 418. Thy way and thy doings have procured these things unto thee. This is thy wickedness because it is bitter, because it reacheth unto thine heart. You see what's coming out of Jake? What does the scripture say? What do you have a shot say is um oh man, I can't even pronounce uh I can't even remember what it's that paraphrase that scripture. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. That's what it is. It's coming out of you. You know, excellent scripture, brother. Excellent scripture. Now, what I want to do is play you a video from this dude because, you know, you're probably like, well, is his music even good? Well, I'll let you be the judge of it. I got, I know what I think. I know what I think. Hold on here. Let's see. Uh, there was one that I did play. Let me go to it, to my uh, history. <clears throat> one I listened to. Yeah, this one right here. I don't think he's going to like it. But I could be wrong. See if we can get it to play you. We got nothing to lose, D. Talk my shit real quick. Flew to Humble County just to go and get them bags in. She think I want relations. I'm just trying to use her address. Don't worry about no pussy on that road. Just grab your back end. We got dog here, but stand behind the fence because we tax. Being a hating ass nigga, that's that shit that got his bitch hit. I just walked down on two ops and hit him with the same switch. Flew to Cali, drove him back to Texas. Ran me up a 50 quid, hit the jeweler. Then I went and bust down with the same shit. Credit card fraud. I'm at Neiman Marcus swiping. Got a bad bitch with me. I'm just making sure they not hip. 10K and Louie in the mirror, that's some simple shit. Every time I touch a different city, grab a different bitch. I'm fucking with the dumps. My one-on-ones, I be punching shit. You clear your dumps at Chase, you'll run you up 30 quick. Drop a check to Dallas, she do shit like Luka Doncic. I just hit too many wires, gotta switch up my apartment. Put a wire fraud while I'm moving fit blocks and dog shit. like damn savage, every time we fuck, you put it all in. Thick bitch, I'm finna bend her over, break her back in. I know that freaking bitch just wanna fuck me cause my back ends. Out of Houston, drop a check, shooting shit like Steve Francis. Credit card numbers to the jeweler, now my wrist dancing. Shooting shit one-handed. I'm turned up when that box landed. 40,000, made it up at Brickle, chilling in Miami. Flew to Humble County, just to go and get them bags in. She think I want relations, I'm just trying to use her address. Don't worry about no pussy on that road. Just grab your back end. We got dog here, but stand behind the fence because we tax okay. Being a hating ass nigga, that's that shit that got his bitch hit. I just walked down on two ops and hit him with the same switch. So I told you you wouldn't like it. Now the thing that's ironic about this, <clears throat> he made this after that home invasion because this thing on his arm, he's got it on his arm because of, uh, he got shot. His girl was there with him, as you heard the story. And he told her to, uh, as he was wrestling with the dude, the gun fell. And he, his girl picked the gun up and went to shoot the guy. But it hit him instead, hit him in the arm and messed his elbow up. So he got this brace on right now. Oh, not right now, but on the video. He got the brace on. This, he made this after the home invasion. And you can see that music like one brother said on the comment board. I'm going I'm to show it to you. This digital digital trash, man. That shit was terrible. That ain't what you call music, right? That shit was just awful. The elder brother said through. <laughs> you see? But it's a, it's it's going back to what the um what the other brother put up. Right here. Jim has feed the flock, Jeremiah 418, thy way and thy doings have procured these things unto thee. This is thy wickedness because it is bitter, because it reacheth unto thine heart. Your ways and your doings procure that evil under you. You talk about it in the songs. How you if you if you, every song you make you talking about your ops and laying niggas down and taking out your you know your blicky or whatever they say these different words. How you gonna be upset when that that thing that you spoke on manifests and it comes back to you? How how just like such as when we preached the word and we told you that pant that uh pestilences was coming and these things come. Look what happened. Did a pestilence come? Yeah. It did. And these other things that we prophesy, say before, right? Life and death is in the power of the tongue. I think a brother put that up. See? This is Neil Lapaya, Jeremiah 11 and 11. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. The Most High is done trying to get your attention. We we preaching the word, either you're going to repent or some type of mischief or calamity is going to take you. 
It's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time. Jim S. Watchman of Yahweh Shah, John 8, 44. Yeah, of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you would do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And Yahweh Shah was talking to his own countrymen, the Jews. He was talking to the tribe of Judah mainly, but to the Jews. You see, he was telling them, you're of your father, the devil. You're acting out the things that, you know, um, you're acting out the things that, that of the one you serve. And when you see this stuff, all this, all this music, this garbage that they're making, that's what's happening. They're putting it out there in, in the world and it's coming back and it's nailing them. That dude can keep making, making them little stupid ass off. We just going to block them all. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Jim S. Tyler, Doc Lafayette. Ecclesiastes 12 and 4, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music <laughs> shall be brought low. That's right. And then you can see it. This music has got, come on, you can't even dance to that. You can't nod to it or nothing. It's just offbeat madness. Sorry. And I'm, I was wondering, like, where does he get all that money from? But see, the dude. He was a smart dude. He didn't have to go out like this. He didn't even have to be a rapper. He had been in the military, but then he wound up getting caught up in the scandal, right? Uh, what was it, a fraud scandal? And he even made a song about that. He got caught up in a fraud scandal, but all that shit go back to that covetous lifestyle. One money, greedy for gain. It's the same shit that's going to make Jay wind up taking the chip. You value the wrong shit. See, yeah, this is crazy. Look at this person. Whatever. We ain't even going to give you. He don't give you no shine. Jim S. North Carolina, Matthew 6, 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. That's right. And you, how do you do that? By serving the Lord. You lay up treasure against the evil day, against the dead necessity. That's what we're praying on. Right? What else we got? Uh, Jim S. Watchman of Yahweh Shire, Proverbs 28 and 5. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. And, I, you know, and it's still judgment of the Heavenly Father. I mean, it's a terrible thing, but it shows you the mentality of a people that here it is. You, you try to rob somebody, right? And then you get killed in the process of trying to rob somebody. And us as your relatives have the have the nerve to be upset and to still feel some type of way about you dying in a in a failed robbery, and we go kill the individual that you tried to rob. I mean, that's man, that's that's hellified pride right there. That's wickedness. I get it. The dude didn't have to take a picture in the person's blood, but it wouldn't have been no blood if he wouldn't have tried to rob somebody. Bottom line, that shit is boy. I can't even put it into words how evil and wicked that shit is. That's hellified wicked. That's wickedness on a whole nother level that can only be cured by destruction. I mean, that, that's, that shit is off the hook, man. Neil Apaya, Ecclesiastes 12 and 6, for the most high hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep them against the mighty day of their punishment. This is the lake of, that's lake of fire shit right there. You were the lake of fire. You do that. That means you you die. Let's say you die in a car wreck and then you got all messed up in the car wreck. You go up before the Heavenly Father. You in the spiritual world in peace. But at the appointed time, he's gonna put you back in another body so you can go into the lake of fire for all that all that nigga shit you did. See? People think the most high is something to play with. No. Well you but by the time you really find out, it's too late. Azadamoth, Ecclesiasticus 18 and 20, before judgment examine thyself before you get judged by the lord before you get in a situation that you can't get out of examine yourself see that shit with these people coming on here with them you know that dude all that king david mad is doing all that he hasn't examined himself what the fuck you so mad at us about <laughs> you did some bugged out shit and called yourself king david while you had a damn a malt liquor in your damn hand and smoking a damn black and mild and saying all this crazy shit and we rebuke you for it and then we, you turn into a lifelong enemy over that then you further compounded about going on the enemy vocab malone don't give a fuck about it. none of us he don't want us to be israelites and you took your black ass on his show now we the assholes 
You can't do you can't get to a person like that. Only one thing left for him, and the Lord gotta do that. But it is what it is. This is a dark matter. You howled up Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. That wisdom is coming out of the men of the Lord by way of the Holy Spirit. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates in the city. She uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. How long you going you want to be black, void of light? How long you want to walk around talking about your ops? You know, like you important. See, that's the whole thing. Jake got a, a, a huge pride issue. In order to serve the Lord, you got to come down a, on a whole another level you got to come down you rise up in knowledge but you come down in that pride category and to see social media and black culture is built upon pride look where i'm at look what i'm eating look what i'm wearing look what i got see the truth is the opposite of that shit look at what the lord is doing look what he has for us look what he's gonna do you gotta take yourself out of the equation and these people are not willing to do that that's why they mind your mind has to be renewed and if you're not gonna do it then you ain't gonna make it Verse 31, therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. And that's, you, you see it. And I mean, I hate that the young dude went out that way. You know what I'm saying? His mama got to stay behind, tell his story, left his four-year-old son behind. But that black culture, man, is ruining minds. You see? GMS North Carolina 777, Ecclesiastes 7 and 5. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. You're hearing both. You're hearing the rebuke of the wise going out from the scriptures the brothers putting up, and you just heard the song of fools. It's terrible. This is a great one. This is uh, Neil Lapaya, Ecclesiastes 5 and 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. And put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. And this dude and perish in the day of vengeance, lock it. And this dude, he died worse than people that tried to rob him. I mean, for real, you ride in your car, your white Mercedes, you on the good side of town, and niggas box you in and then spray your car with bullets, man. Fucking sad. So you know that's the judgment of the Lord. So mm, learn from it. This is all, we all can learn from this can, going forward. That shit, that revenge being, you know, want to want to get back. What's wrong with these people? Why didn't this dude, this dude is making all these accounts? He using all that energy to do that. All the while, you ignoring all the prophecies. You ain't doing the work of the Lord at all. You mean to tell me heckling us is more important to you than doing the work of the Lord that you say you believe in? <laughs> most I got your ass in a trick bag. You're like a Muppet baby. The most got you on his hand making you do shit so he can come in with his other hand and destroy your ass man azana ma second edge 1665 when your sins are brought forth ye shall be ashamed before men and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day what will you do or how will you hide your sins before the most high and his angels the lord ain't gonna say what did the gms do to you like the brother uh <laughs> what's his brother's name um uh, from the West Coast, I can't think of. Parathon Banya Howard said that night, you know, show us on the doll, the GMS touch you. <laughs> can't blame it on us. We doing what the Lord told us to do. And in, and in the process, if we offend or hurt somebody, you know we don't mean it like that. We trying to do the work of the Lord. That's all it is. But if you get in the way, ah, we got to go through you. Verse 67, behold, the Most High is the judge. Him, Most High himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your sins to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. That's what we're trying to be. We're trying to be delivered from all trouble. Elder Hawaii, Proverbs 15, 21. Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom. If you don't have wisdom, it's a joy to you to do dumb shit, to go on the ground with all this stack of money, you know, pile of money like it's a money all up your damn arm it's a joy to you to do that it's a joy to you you get something out of making these accounts with different apostles faces on it and saying nasty shit to us you're not being effective at doing anything all you're doing is stacking up 
you know, charges on yourself with the Heavenly Father, and you're annoying the shit out of us, but that's about as far as you're going. You're not being successful. Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom, but a man of understanding walketh uprightly. And if the, the man that walks uprightly, when you get, you know, you uh, somebody run game on you or they beat you out of something, you take that loss and you move on like a man. You don't you don't stay, keep on trying to get back, get back, get back. Now nah, that nigga tried to get me. He shot me in the arm or I got shot in the arm. He dead, but I'm going to go, I'm going I'm to rub salt in the wound. I'm going to go take a picture in the blood and put it on the ground. Golly. I mean, it's like saying, yeah, come kill me. That's basically what you're doing, man. I don't know why this guy talking about six hundred dollars. What what was six hundred dollars? Anyway, we get ready to shut it down. We are gonna keep it going. I got another scripture here. Um, I read this one from this brother. This is uh Matazah Lacham, Job nineteen twenty nine. Be ye afraid of the sword, for wrath bringeth the punishments of the sword. That ye may know there is a judgment. That's right. And the individuals that, that are not in fear of the Almighty, after all this judgment you see going on, that shows two things. You proud, number one. Number two, you are unbeliever. Because if you were a believer, you would be afraid of doing certain things because you know that the Lord is going to do something to you, man. So if you go ahead and do things without fear, that means you don't think that the Lord going to do shit. You don't even believe in it. How can you believe in the Almighty and just do whatever you want to do? Like the Christians do. It doesn't even make sense. This is Zechariah chapter 7. Hold on here. Zechariah 7 and verse 8. And the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment and show mercy and compassions every man to his brother. And oppress not the widow, nor the fatherless, the stranger, nor the poor, and let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Yeah, they made their hearts as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts had sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Therefore it has come to pass that as he cried and they would not hear, so they cried and I would not hear, saith the Lord of hosts. That is what's going to come. And then it goes on to talk about, you know, the Lord scattering us. Because this is written way back. But that happened. Everything the Lord said was going to happen, but it's going to come around again. It's going to be a more terrible judgment this time around. And nobody can get you out of it. Nobody can get you out of this what's coming except the Savior. That's why he's the Savior. Is it not? So I kind of wanted to get, uh, let's see. The dude that 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 shot this this guy in retaliation, he did get caught. Let me see if I could bring it up. Um, just hold on here. Bring the video up. Yeah, and and it's a dude. This shit is old, man. Jake. Uh, I'll just play it. Hold on here. You can bring it up. I mean, as you imagine, this is another Jake, of course. I was doing it for my cousin. Your cousin tried to tried to rob somebody and got messed up in the process. See, that's that's a lack of accountability. You want to go and defend somebody who was doing wickedness. Your cousin wasn't murdered. He was he was deleted because he was doing some yeah. so the commercial go by. Yeah, we'll play it. Here we go. In the River Oaks area, one of the suspects accused in a deadly shooting of a rapper in the River River Oaks area is now under arrest. That rapper known as BTV Savage was killed in a drive-by shooting two weeks ago. Ugochi Yoloka joins us live from the courthouse with more on the arrest. Hey, Sherman, right now, the man accused of killing 26-year-old
April Daryl Bender, also known as rapper BTB Savage Court, is being processed in the Harris County Jail and is appearing right now in probable cause court right next to me as we speak. There is a hearing happening at this moment. Now, investigators do say a second suspect is involved in the death of Gentry, but they have not identified him yet. Yeah, take a look here. 40-year-old Montrell Burley is charged with murder after Houston police say license plate readers helped spot him at the murder scene. Investigators say Gentry was killed in a deadly drive-by shooting in the River Oaks area March 30th. Court records state home surveillance videos captured the black Sabura car suspects were driving in on mid lane at the time of the shooting. Now, the motive, according to court documents, Joe Gentry was allegedly involved in the shooting death of a man in San Antonio during an attempted robbery. The man who was killed in that incident in San Antonio was allegedly friends with and a part of a gang with Burley. Now, Gentry's mom told KQ11 uh, that her son believed that he was uh, being retaliated against after sharing more about that incident in San Antonio online. She tells us she truly believes her son was set up. Again, that hearing is happening right now. Um, we understand that Burley is in court, but has not faced the judge just yet. We're waiting on that. We'll send it back to you all in the studio. Sherman. All right, thank you for watching that case. We'll go to Iloka downtown at the courthouse. We will continue posting updates on this story at KTOU.com. No, who opened fire killing a man last week on Mid Lane near River Oaks. The gunman identified as 40 year old Montreal Burley. He's charged with killing a rapper sitting in a white Mercedes. Burley, however, still on the run along with another suspect in the shooting. Gerald Harris is live at HPD headquarters tonight after speaking with the victim's mother, Gerald. Yeah, police and the victim's mother say is the shooting of her son was a targeted attack. No mother should ever feel this pain. No mother should ever have to bury her child. The mother of Daryl Gentry, a rapper known on social media as BTB Savage, is reeling over the death of her son. She says the targeting of her son began earlier this year in San Antonio when a man who was supposed to be her son's friend attempted to rob him. Anybody that knows Darrell, done business with Darrell, knows that he's a straight up dude. You know what I mean? I don't call my son BTB. I call him Darrell. I call him d -box. Gentry, along with his fiance, were able to take down the robbers, allegedly killing one in self-defense. And she says a recent blog appearance by her son ramped up the pressure to retaliate against him and kill him after he talked about the incident in San Antonio. But it was on March 30th when Ward says her son called her predicting his death at a restaurant with people she believes were part of the plot to kill him. He said, Mom, I'm going to talk to you regular, but read your text messages. When Gentry got up from the table and went to the bathroom, he told his mom this. And I said, what's going on? And he said, I think they're trying to set me. I'm sorry. He said, I think they're trying to set me up. Later, Gentry would be killed on his way to the airport to fly to his mother. He was shot in a parking garage on Mid Lane, suffering at least one gunshot wound. His white Mercedes was riddled with bullets in his home burglarize. Why? That's why I want to know what, why, why did y'all kill my son? Gentry spent four years in the U S military and has children. He leaves behind. They were even texting, telling the other ops what he got on, what color car he's driving and down the way down to his 30 day tax. And again, police are looking for Montreal Burley and another suspect they say took off in an unknown direction in a black Subaru SUV. If you have any information, call HPD. In downtown Houston, Gerald Harris, KHOU 11 News. Shit is disgusting. <clears throat> it's disgusting. It's terrible. It's fucked up, man. Just to be honest. But you know what? It is what it is. Let's read a few of these and get up out of here. This is GMS Through the Fire, Shalawan Brother Tazamak, GMS Memphis, Isaiah 66 and 4. I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear me, but they did evil before mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. And Jake is asleep. You think the Lord ain't even paid attention to Mother's Day. You niggas are doing all kind of shit on Mother's Day, so-called. 
right? That that's a idolatry. Idolatry was what it was. So you're not thinking about the judgment, and it just comes on you suddenly. Can we please get Proverbs 29, verse 1? Let's get that, please. Dark matter, you howl to Proverbs 18 and 6. A fool's lips enter into contention, and his mouth calleth for strokes. A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare of his soul. That's right. Trap yourself up. Things you say out of your mouth, out into the earth, that vibration. You're putting it out there. Same brother Ecclesiastes 5 and 2. Be not rash with thy mouth and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before the Most High. For the Most High is in heaven and thou upon earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. And that's another problem Jay got. Talk too damn much. Don't know when to be quiet. You don't know when to be quiet. Learn how to shit, you know, STFU. Great scriptures, brothers. I'm just going here to the end. Um, Faithful 144, hopefully elect, Proverbs 29, verse 1. He that being often reproved, hardeneth his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. These warnings go out daily. We warn Jake daily. We warn our people daily. You can't say we don't love you. We giving you the warnings, but you don't listen to us. So you know what? You're being often reproved. That judgment is going to come suddenly. Jim S. in the Truth Orlando. Ecclesiastes 9 and 12, for man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in a snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time, when it falleth suddenly upon them. And from the way, you know, that last video, I hadn't even seen it. Dude was texting his mom when he was about to go to the airport to try to go where she is, and niggas all around him watching, right? Saying what what color he got on, what color car he in, down to his 30-day tag, texting, trying to set him up. All these riding ass niggas all around you trying to trying to feast on your riches. Then they went and burglarized his house. Goes right back to idolatry. Looking for looking for gain. What the Lord gonna do with the people like this, man? Gonna burn their ass up. Riding ass niggas plotting and scheming on one another for riches that ain't gonna get you shit. All if you could have probably stole all this dude money and still not had enough. To sustain sustain yourself. I mean, it's, it's it's really stupid. It's a fucked up culture. Black culture is death. So we're gonna see you, brothers and sisters, soon. All right, Lord willing. That's it. Black culture is destroying you. Repent. You come across this video, repent. Those that have it. Because the Lord is not gonna tolerate this shit. We'll see you again, Lord willing. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopefully elect. Stay away from black people. <laughs> Stay away from them. It's death.